Welcome back to Innovation RC, guys. So the AK-47 of Castle Motors finally gets its own facelift. Now, before everyone went to these huge whopping motors and putting them in very, well, much smaller applications, the Castle 2200 KV was pretty much the go-to motor for anything speed runs or bashing. Now, the version one censored 2200 KV is a great, great motor. We actually hit 136 miles an hour with that exact motor in shockwave. Now, we are going to be testing the version two 2200 KV censored motor from Castle. Now, if that seems interesting, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more because we're about to hop into this about now. Whoa. The flagship 8th scale motors from Castle Creations. I got three motors with me today. The new guy is in there. And we have the original 2200 KV from castle and this is also the censored but this is a version one now what's different between well this motor and that motor they're both 15 series except this is a 1512 1800 kv now this guy's actually ran in the track typhon basically for track purposes exactly for that reason now i'm going to show you the difference between what's in there and what i have in my hand here this is a version one inside here we have a brand spanking new version 2 2200 kv and it is ooh, it's smooth I'm actually going to show you guys the rolling resistance between well the old 2200 and the new 2200 all right so i have currently installed in shockwave and why do i even have them out here first of all we're actually going to hear the sound difference now what the heck does that even mean i'll get to that shortly so now we're going to roll shockwave and you're going to see the original 2200 sound right now and i'm going to stop talking All right, now I have the brand new version two 2200 KV, and I'm also going to roll it in shockwave, and we're gonna see the rolling resistance of that. Now, if you guys wanna know the level 10 reasoning behind why it's able to move a little bit more freely, which makes actually a big difference, well, the rotor and stator was just redesigned to allow the magnetic flux to travel more freely pretty much and it lowers cogging torque resulting in smoother startup higher efficiency which results in cooler temperatures and longer run times compared to mr og over here now this guy was still pretty efficient no doubt but it's well it's 90 whatever degrees here in florida there's barely any kind of wind so if we could get any more efficient that could really help out so up first we have our little 4s batteries 5000 milliamp nothing crazy but it's going to be perfect and lightweight enough for the track without it weighing the vehicle down uh, so we're going to be running around a little bit on 4SF first and then we're going to be bashing and thrashing with this monstrosity of a 6S 6000 mil amp. This guy has actually been in my arsenal for about two and a half years now and he's still going pretty strong. Very good job on CNHLs and I'm pretty happy with the quality of batteries and we're just going to keep running them. Now if you guys haven't done so make sure you follow Innovation RC on Instagram. We'll have cool pictures, videos and other cool things on there that might strike your fancy. Alright we are pretty much done talking. I want to hit the road and I want to see what this guy can do. It looks amazing and we are geared the identical pinion gear as what I was normally running on the TLR Track Typhon as what I would normally use to race and it runs pretty cool 1800 kV but it's also a smaller motor. So without any further ado, let's hop into this. So let's see how well this motor does starting back up from a standstill. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. That's basically crawling. That's really cool. So we are pretty much done at the track. We got the 6S inside. Sounds like there's a jet up there. Oh, there is. Check that out. It's a real turbine jet. Wow. That is so cool. 6S Typhon on 6S finally. Damn, it's almost popping a wheelie. 
Look at that. Oh my God. That is insane how much torque there is. Jesus. Holy moly. On 6S, that's insane. That's crazy, holy moly. Jesus, that's insane. Oh, here, I'll try to get a slow motion on this. Oh, there we go, there's a tire. <laughs> God, it was driving upside down. Well, I guess we can say the motor's got some balls, and honestly, Castle knocked it out of the park again. This was the facelift that this 2200 definitely needed. Look at that. That's some good steering right there. <laughs> we blew the tires completely off. Well, I'm pretty sure this motor needs a brake, so we're gonna call it quits for now, and honestly, as soon as we get new tires, we're gonna throw them back on and head right back out with this big old fix ass. I really appreciate you guys watching, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe for more, because we're probably gonna wanna blow up more tires. I actually kind of had fun doing that. I'm certainly gonna say, if you guys put a really high-powered setup in there, certainly be careful. When these tires wanna blow out and flings the rubber at over like 100 miles an hour, flinging the rubber at 100 miles an hour, the car wasn't doing that, but the tires can definitely fling some something out at a much higher speed than what the vehicle is doing so make sure you stay safe out there well i actually wanted to say that after but anyway make sure you stay safe and have a good one guys